Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. How are you? Uh, it's a Saturday after Christmas and I'm just kind of taking it easy in my uh, craft room on the porch. I wanted to show you this really fun and festive uh, shadow box uh, card from Lori Whitlock. She has a number of these. These are sized so that they will fold flat and um, go into a five by seven inch um, envelope. She has a number of different um, designs. Today we're gonna put together this one, which is the snowman, but I wanted to show you this one here too because it's really pretty. Uh, but there are a number of them, including like one of Santa and one of, uh, let's see, a beautiful deer scene, which I don't know if I have around here, but I do, I do have it around here. But we're gonna put this one together. Basically, it's a box. It's a lot like the box cards we've been doing. It's a box with two inserts here, you see? And um, it's super simple to put together. I wanna just show you how I do that. So when it cuts out, obviously you have a lot of different elements. You have these, this, these two pieces, which I've attached together with glue, right? And that's kind of the frame of it. And then um, it cuts out a bunch of pieces. Here's the insert in the back to look like, kind of like a snowy background. And then there are a number of pieces that go around the outside. Here's one, so it goes around the outside. And so you do decorate the, the actual box first just show you a completed one so you can see. So here's the actual box, has the four pieces here, as well as this really pretty glitter snowflake, cuts out great on my Cricut um, maker. And then, up, so I'm all set with the outside of the box, and now I'm going to focus on the inside of the box. It has two, um, inserts one is of trees in the background and the other one is of our snowman um, in the front and just put together all of the different pieces uh, to make up the scene and that includes his little scarf and his hat and even his little tiny nose which i'm going to put on there in a second Okay, and here is this little tiny nose. It is very small. What's amazing to me is is how intricate and how detailed uh, the Cricut can cut things out, including this snowflake on the front here, and things such as, such as these little teeny tiny noses. So you're gonna put together um, these inserts, okay? And then we're going to place them in there. This is before we close the box. Um, you can try to do it before, before you close, I mean, after you've closed the box, but to be honest, I felt like this was the best way to do it. It keeps the inserts from moving around and also keeps a lot of the glue that you might put on those inserts. So what I'm doing is I'm putting, first I'm putting on the back insert. You see, I folded it and I glued it to the, to the left edge. And then here's my front insert, which I'm going to fold at the score lines. And put it in front of there. And you gotta make sure that you're putting your these two tabs on the side, can't be on the front there, but on the side, okay? And then what you end up with is you end up with almost completed box. Now you just have to sort of close it off. And the way you do that is you start and you fold in and you glue the second or the right hand part of the tabs. And you're going to sort of fold it 
this does take a little bit of practice, but you're gonna fold it and sort of in, make sure that that tab is attached, you see? There we go. Now, as with all box cards, we're going to do a little bit of making sure that those tabs are uh, properly, uh, properly attached so that we can close and open this card. And of course I am doing it so quickly that it's gonna cause some issues with the glue not being attached, but we'll just be a little more patient with it. Okay. And remember, we're just folding, making sure that that is properly placed there. Might be a little too close to the front, but you know, you're gonna do a better job than I have. I've placed these so that they're sort of equal here, but on my video here, this one, this example, not so much. But, um, and then the last piece that you're going to use, or you're going to glue, is the thing that closes it all together, that inside tab. So let's do that. And there you have it, is a really pretty scene, snowman scene, uh, which is a five by seven sized uh, shadow box from Lori Whitlock. If you are watching this today, which is what, the 28th of December, she's having a sale at her shop that's been extended through the rest of today. Her shop is shop.loriwhitlock.com. And if you wanted to pick up something, uh, one of these, you would just search for five by seven shadow box and you would be amazed at what you come up with. Again, there's, there's this like Merry Christmas one, but there's also a deer in the woods and there's uh, a couple of other, uh, a sleigh, no, like a, uh, when you go snow, snow, what do you go? Sledding. There's a sled <laughs> and also there's a Santa Claus and probably a few more, but um, these are really fun. They really are a wow factor card and really fun to make and to show you. I hope you enjoy it. Um, okay, let's see. My name is Rita and this is my channel, Miss Rita to the Rescue. If you aren't already following me, I would ask that you do that. Uh, I am giving away a number of um, wonderful prizes, uh, giveaways, uh, and one including a Cricut Cutie, and as well as we do have monthly giveaways. So please think about subscribing, and it's free, and it's fun, and you get to keep up with all these wonderful Cricut crafts. Thanks so much for coming today. I hope you follow me and um, come back real soon. We're going to be continuing to do all these wonderful Cricut crafts and we look forward to having you.